right. Um, so the next section we're going to talk about is Protestantism in Switzerland. And I want to stop right there. And I want to look at that word Protestantism. The, the movement that began with Luther and the Lutheran, is, Lutheran church, Lutheranism, um, began a movement that in Europe was known as the Protestant movement. And you can see in that word Protestant is the word protest. Okay, and these religions were started as a protest to the Catholic Church, as a protest to what these people saw as abuses being committed by the Catholic Church in Rome. Um, so Luther is the first to begin this Catholic or this Protestant church, the, the Lutheran church. They're still around today, tens of thousands. Um, and the next major branch of the Protestant faith is going to begin in Switzerland with a guy named Ulrich Zwingli. And, and just to give you a little bit of perspective, this little small purple country right here is Switzerland. It's, it's in the Alps, which are the biggest mountain range in Europe. Um, it's really hard to get to historically. Um, so it was allowed to create a lot of its own culture without too much outside influence. Um, so he, he starts this religion. He, he, you know, hears about Luther and, and the movement that's happening, and he agrees. He actually tries to get with Luther and, and join forces to fight against the Catholic Church. Um, Luther does not agree with him on everything and, and gives, him the, gives him the hand. Um, <clears throat> so in um, Switzerland, he starts this movement. One of the things that we see being different than the Catholic Church um, is that all of the walls of the church were white. And, and the reason he did this was because he wanted people to be focused on the person talking. Instead of looking at the beautiful stained glass windows and gold and statues and ornate things that are in the Catholic churches and are still in Catholic churches today. If you go to a Catholic church today, you will find huge, beautiful stained glass windows and statues. You won't see that in churches that are connected to Calvinism. Um, they also changed the way that the church services were performed. Um, Catholic churches, oftentimes in Latin, sit, stand, kneel. Um, well, where, where Calvinist churches were more of like Bible readings um, in the language, the vernacular language, the language of the people of the area. Um, when, when he died in battle, his body was sliced up into a million pieces or something. Um, and a guy named John Calvin takes over. John Calvin is from France, although he's going to move to Switzerland for the protection, the isolation of, of that area. I mean, he's going to start this new branch of the, of the Protestant church called Calvinism. Um, he agreed with Luther that faith was a huge component in salvation. But then he also said that God had chosen a few people who had been predestined to go um, to heaven and that, um, and that everyone should try and do their best, but no one will ever really know if you are one of those people who are predestined to get into heaven. Um, the Calvinist religion, and then I'm gonna show you now here on this map, um, Calvinism is in purple, okay? So we have the Catholic Church in, in Italy, of course, Rome, Spain, most of France, Austria, Hungary, Poland. Um, here's your Lutheran Church. There's your Wittenberg, Germany. Most of the German princes had chosen Lutheranism, Denmark, Sweden, Norway. Um, and, and here you notice that what happens is that the Calvinist Church teaches its it, people its faith and tells them to go out and, and start these branches of the Calvinist church in other parts throughout Europe. So instead of kind of being located in one spot, we're going to see that the Calvinist church um, are all around Europe. These Huguenots are French Calvinists. So also these are centers of Calvinist religion in France. Um, and you notice that Scotland has Calvins as well. You guys, just as a kind of side note, the pilgrims, you know, 
the pilgrims who came here in 1620, they were Calvinists. They were members of the, of the Calvinist church. So um, these are the people we're talking about, okay? And, um, and, and the religion is still around today, just like Lutheran churches are still around today. You know that the primitive Baptist, the reformed Baptist, the Presbyterian, and, all, and, and the Reformed Church all came from the Calvinist movement and are still churches that are around today. So, um, yeah, now we have two Protestant faiths. Along with Catholicism, there is now Lutheranism, Calvinism.